chapter one. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Fane Senior Class of 2015 Valedictorian, Trevor Newman. <laughs> So I sat down, thought about it for a little while, and uh, realized I had nothing. So I did what any other desperate teenager would do. I Googled it. <laughs> I was flooded with quotes, jokes, and bits of advice, and it took it as much as I could. But don't worry though, Mrs. Lanahan, there is an MLA format and works cited with it, so I'll go. <laughs> the first search result popped up said, take advantage of your time to speak here and capitalize on it. I, I think I took this one a little too literally, and I decided to sell some ad space, so if everyone can look at my graduation cap. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing this speech is for is to keep everything in perspective, to see how far we've come, but still how far we have yet to go. Most of us have been in fame for years, some of us all our lives. There are, as Mr. Lightning would say, Gobs and gobs of memories. <laughs> I tried to get some, uh, some highlights from over the years, so here goes. Rora Band Wars in the band room with many calls to make shift crossbow. Watching endless crash course videos the night before AP exams. Brandon Mandola dancing around with an umbrella on career day, singing, It's Raining Men. <laughs> My dad screaming, Don't you dare punt! at all the football games. <laughs> Manny Cacanese trying to argue that mermaids totally do exist. And all the senior skip days in church we've had this year. We really come together as a class and as a family. But that all changes today. Small town movement is all we've known, <coughs> but now we must venture off into this crazy changing world. Some of us are staying close to family, others are going off into the military, and some of us are going off into college. Part of my duty today is to impart some words of wisdom, some advice on the challenges we'll face on our pursuits of success. Although I can't throw a long, wise beard or anything, I'll, I'll try my best. The other day I was eating lunch when I saw a saying. I read, study and prepare yourself, and one day, your day will come. For the record, I was eating a fortune cookie. Um, but that's all besides the point. The phrase itself makes a lot of sense. No matter what path you reach on, Studying and preparing yourself just sets you up for success. Practice makes perfect. Sure, maybe literal studying has gotten easier, <coughs> perhaps in my day, but it means a lot more than that. A baseball pitcher studying and preparing for film and practicing through repetition will someday have his day where he throws a perfect game. I don't think leagues you're going to need to work hard, study, and prepare. If you don't, you'll be left behind the dust. It'll be new, different, the whole world is a lot more diverse than you think. It's going to get challenging real quick. It's going to be tested. We have to make choices where there's negatives either way. Failure is inevitable. 
We need to be able to overcome adversity and stay positive. Anyone can be positive when everything is going right. <laughs> but you need to be strong when things are not see the light to the darkness. We need to be able to get out of bed and keep kicking. It's going to feel sometimes like you're on a treadmill, putting all this work and not seeing any results. You're going to feel pain and doubt, but that'll all pass. Just keep the end goal in mind. For years, we've all had the same end goal of graduating high school. We've been together, and now we've made it. Like Mr. Epps said, we do have a strong foundation here, in each other, and in you for you. That just means, though, that we're all starting over in a new group. Some of us want families, others want book books published, and still some of us want multi-billion dollar technology corporations. No matter what your goals are, just be confident in yourself. Life's a marathon, not a sprint. Bumps in the road will happen, but you can't fix, fix it. Or you can't fix the past. Only learn from it and improve on the future. Overall, just don't be afraid. Stay positive through the daunting and challenging and overbearing times, for if you do, then you'll be successful. For years, teachers have helped us get through these hard times. Now it's all in us. Luckily, we have a support system one another. I can see it now, September, my phone blowing up with questions asking for math help. Behind us, though, new fit isn't going anywhere, and some things will never change. Mr. Klump will still never lose a game of badminton, the crickets will always be chirping up the halls, mm -hmm. and Mr. I will always have more kids than I can count. <laughs> That's what's great about living in a rural community. Chances are you're sitting next to the next, sitting next to the next doctors, Caroline Connolly, the next amazing chef, Emily Clark, the next owner of the Miami Dolphins, Josh Will, and the next iTunes chart topper, Lil JG. <laughs> they say that high school is the best four years of your life. Don't get me wrong, it's been a great run, but I know that we can all make memories beyond portfolios and SAT scores. So as we all leave here today, I just want to reiterate the cliche we've heard for years. Follow your dreams. Work hard and prepare. Find out what it is that you want and take it. We don't know how long we have, so go out there, seize the opportunities, and make it happen. It'll be tough, but you can do it. Finally, I want to leave you all with this one comfort quote from world-renowned author John Green. Whenever I get nervous about the next four years, it makes me laugh and it reminds me that I can do it. He said, each year, millions and millions of stupid people graduate from college. And if they can do it, so can you. Congratulations, class of 2015. We did it.